Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode 8 of the Discord JS guide and in this episode I will be teaching you how you can create an 8-ball command. So let's jump straight into it. Starting off like usual, I'm going to be creating the command. Let's do that real quick. And before I begin the actual tutorial for the command, I'm going to be showing you arrays because... And I will be introducing them because you need to know about arrays in order to make this command. So now let me create the file 8ball.js and fill this in. Once it loads, okay, there we go. I'll just call the description 8ball command for now. I will change it later. And there we go. So, let me show you what an array is. So, basically, an array, let's call this let r, and you open this up with square brackets. So, an array consists of many elements which can be strings, numbers, or anything together. So let's have three elements here, A, B, and C. And so this is the array. So if I do console.log, once the command is executed, and restart this, and now do 8ball, you will see you get all the three elements here. So this is the complete array. But if you want to log only one of the elements, you have to open up square brackets and call the element number. So the first one is zero, if you want to call a then 0 b then 1 and that's how it works so if i do this restart the program and type in 8 ball you get b here so it logs the second element so that's how arrays work that's basically it and we're going to be making the command based on that so starting off i'll be creating i'll be creating a variable called question which will be the first argument so if the question itself is not given then there's no point in giving the response so if exclamation mark question message or channel that's sent you will have to enter your question next to the command and if the, the question is given we'll do an else statement and start off so let me create an array called responses and open up square brackets and I will be copying all of these responses here. These will be the different responses that the bot can give. And let me just convert all of these into strings and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so now I'm done with all the responses. This is the array containing all of them. And so how this command will work is, when you execute the command, one of these elements will be pulled out and they will be executed or sent. So it's gonna be random. So to let, to generate a random element out of this array, all you have to do is create another variable. Let's call this response. And response will be equal to, equal to map.floor open brackets and math.random open another set of brackets asterisk and responses.length so this is basically what we did in the random number generator so responses.length is the amount of is the number of elements so if there are three elements it will be three and here there are like around 10 so it will be 10 and then a random number is going to be generated out of that length for example 3 and this will equal to 3 so after that to pull out a random number I mean a random element for example, the third element itself, you have to just do responses, open up square brackets and type in response. So this will be the random number and this will be the array. So you will get a random element of the array. So that is how you get a random element of an array. And after this, all you have to do is message.reply and type in responses, open up square brackets and type in response. That's basically it. So the command is done here, let's test it out. We run the program first. And let me type in 8ball. It says you will have to enter the question next to the command. So let's type 8ball. Was this tutorial good? And signs point to yes, that's good. And that also means that the command works. So this was a short episode and I think I'm going to be ending it right here. 
this is how you make an 8 ball command and how you use arrays so thanks for watching this video please leave a like if you enjoyed and make sure to subscribe see you on the next one peace